Guys, I do appreciate y'all more. Y'all know, thank y'all for stopping back by for another video, guys. If y'all new here, go and consider subscribing, consider liking. If y'all enjoy the content, today is a beautiful day. God is grand. We woke up this morning. I do hope all y'all doing well. Hope y'all family's doing well as well. I'm doing amazing. All right. I think I'm just about at 100%. Thank y'all so much again for all the love, all the support. But real quick, guys, I got some good news. And I got some terrible news, okay? Which one do y'all want first? I'll give y'all a second to figure it out. All right, so I'm going to give y'all the good news first. Let's jump right in. XRP price signals breakout. Ripple Bulls to eye a 20% rally soon. All right, guys. This ain't financial advice. Don't take that. Don't take this for that, okay? What do I know? I'm just giving y'all some information. It, said, it says XRP price has breached a nearly 450-day declining trend line, indicating a bullish resurgence. This video going to be quick. Stick around, guys. Y'all going to want to see what I got to tell y'all or the not-so-good news. Um, it says a daily candlestick close below the EMA confluence of 37 cents will invalidate the bullish thesis for Ripple. Uh, I think they meant XRP, but... XRP price shows a clear sign of a bullish move, which comes after the months of rejection combined with massive sell-offs. However, the narrative has finally shifted after this recent breakout of a declining trend line, forecasting an explosive move soon. Uh, it also says XRP price produced six distinctive lower highs since November 11, 2021. A trend line drawn connecting these swing, swing points Reveals that it was, that it prevented the altcoin from moving higher. However, the upswing journey that begun after Jan January third has overcome two critical hurdles: the confluence of a fifty day, a hundred day, and two hundred day exponential moving average at roughly thirty seven cents and thirty nine cent resistant level that has persisted for the last two hundred and sixty days. So, um, obviously, you see here with the trend line. You know, moving downward over the course of, they said, the last 450 days, we do got XRP popping his little head up above that trend line, possibly ready to breach that trend line. So um, to wrap things up with this article, it says, while the outlook for XRP price is no doubt bullish, market participants need to cut their bags should the altcoin sink below the declining trend line. The main reason behind the line of thinking it is the market seems overextended, especially with Bitcoin and Ethereum developing bearish divergence. We talked about bearish divergence in the last video and how the person that put out the tweet was saying that XRP was looking at some bearish divergence. I think that was XRP, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it says on the daily time frames, but furthermore, confirmation of the bullish thesis, it will be invalidated. If the XRP price produces a daily candlestick close below the 37 cent levels, guys, in such cases, the remittance token could slide lower to retest the 33 cent support floor. All right. So keep that in mind. OK. While this is some decent news, keep that in mind. We could be sliding lower. Now, the news that nobody really wants to hear, guys, because a lot of folks say that I spread FUD on this channel. But guys, I'm just trying to inform y'all. OK, so y'all can make the best decision possible for yourselves on what's going on in this market now we got this article coming from forbes it said crypto price warning global financial meltdown we know we know we do for one we know we do for it we know it's coming we know it's inevitable is it gonna happen now or is it gonna happen later my personal opinion i don't believe it's happening yet but listen it says Financial global meltdown could be about to smoke Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Cardano, Dogecoin, Polygon, and Solana. Right? Pretty much the market without saying the entire market. Now, we're going to go down here. Okay? Now, take this all with a grain of salt. Everything that I'm saying in this video, I told y'all. What do I know, guys? This ain't financial advice. I'm just giving y'all the news. Y'all act on it as y'all will. Look at the economy around you. We know what's going on outside, you know. 
It says Satoshi will laugh at you all. That's what JP Morgan said. Jamie Dimon. Satoshi will laugh at you all. The CEO Jamie Dimon mocks Bitcoin and crypto with devastating price prediction. Guys, listen. Guys, hit the like. Go ahead and subscribe if y'all haven't. I do appreciate it. it. Says Bitcoin simply is experiencing a natural bounce off of the local lows of the sub sixteen thousand dollar level. Now, like I said, people said I'd spread a lot of fud around here. Like I said, I'm just informing folks. I did tell y'all this. We was probably dealing with a dead cat bounce. I did tell y'all, okay, these markets was probably gonna turn over on themselves. Everybody was thinking that we was in a rally. You know, we had it wasn't nothing but a bear rally, bear market rally, right? We still we still experiencing a bear market, okay? That was those were my thoughts. I could be wrong, okay? I'm not no uh professional when it comes to this stuff, guys. Y'all seeking a professional guys, call one. Cause that ain't what this is, okay? Um says Hayes wrote in a blog post adding he believes Bitcoin is rallying. Because of the market is front running a resumption of the Federal Reserve money printing. Market anticipation of a rate hike pause and even a Fed pivot have been building, right? It says in spite of repeated Fed official comments to the con to the contrary, crypto market analyst Noel Anchester, or Anchester, I don't even know how to say his name, wrote in an email, the Fed Chair Powell Who's last year punished interest rates to a 15-year high as part of a concerted effort to drive down inflation? He said rates will need to go higher in 2023, echoed by other Fed officials who have endorsed raising the benchmark federal fund rate above 5%. Now listen to this. If the Fed does not follow through with the pivot, or multiple Fed governors talk down any expectation of a pivot, even after good consumer price index, when the numbers come out, right? Bitcoin will likely crash back down towards previous lows. Now, I did already tell y'all, I was listening to Clear Value Tax, and I was telling y'all how he said he sees Bitcoin going to $12,000, somewhere in that area. He said maybe not that low, but he did say it could go that low or it could go lower. Guys, there ain't no way of telling. There ain't no way of knowing. I'm just telling y'all what he said. Um, it says, Hayes wrote, predicting this scenario would cause risky asset prices crater, right? Bonds, equities, and every crypto under the sun all gets smoked as the glue that holds together the global USD-based financial system dissolves. If that disastrous global financial meltdown scenario occurs, then Hayes expects he'll get another bite at the apple and we'll know that the market has probably bottomed. Okay, because we got a lot of folks, I told y'all in my last video saying it, a lot, of, a lot of different stuff. We got folks over here saying the market already bottomed. We got folks over here saying that we still haven't reached the bottom. I'm kind of, you know, in between the fence on it, but I'm a little bit more towards the side where I do feel like we do for a little more, a little more pressure, a little more pain, especially coming from the Fed rate hikes. I do believe we do for a little bit more, guys, knowing that these rate hikes are going to continue throughout at least half of this year, okay? Which is going to put a lot of strain on consumers. And on a lot of these businesses and stuff out here, right? Which is gonna scare a lot of investors out of these markets. Because they're gonna to try to they gonna be trying to hold on to you know every every little dime that they can, right? Nobody's gonna be wanting to invest. Especially not in a, a market that's falling, right? But we know that's all the more reason to be buying up these assets on the cheap. But he also says, uh, because of the crack, he says, um, he says, uh, and we'll know that the market has possibly probably bottom because the crash that happens when the system temporarily breaks temporarily. Keep that in mind. 
is temporary, guys. All this stuff is going all this stuff is going to come back eventually. But he said the system, when the system temporarily breaks, we'll either hold the previous 15,800 lows or it won't. Okay? So it's going to be a free fall. I told you. I'm going to be a kid in the candy store, guys. If Bitcoin does go to these lows, I'm just being real, okay? I'm probably going to start dollar cost averages in and get me a nice position on Bitcoin if it does, okay? And I'm going to ride that thing up, I told you, going into the, the, bull, uh, the bull market, right? Because obviously, if everything tanks, then I know that, uh, you know, uh, this being a, a bear market rally is confirmed if Bitcoin and all these other cryptos tank lower. So I'm going to give me a nice position. And then as we head into the bull market, I'm going to ride that. I'm going to ride Bitcoin up, right? Because we know Bitcoin usually take, usually like to take off. I ain't going to say usually like to take off. It takes off first, okay? Bitcoin takes off first. Then when Bitcoin takes off and Bitcoin makes all his, gain, all his gains, the next thing you know, people start to pull profits and they start to pump those altcoins. All that, all that, all that capital starts to flow into the altcoins. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be riding that wave. So, guys, let me know what y'all... Let me know what y'all got going on. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think we headed for uh, a big uptrend here in this space? Or y'all think we do for some more downward momentum? Leave a comment. Leave a like. Guys, subscribe if y'all haven't. I do appreciate y'all so much, guys. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.